Hello, hello, hello. How you doing? Ooh, ooh, how you doing? How you doing? Yeah. Doing. This is uh, Church of RNK, another version of it for today. And I am Rosemary Nonny Knight. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm going to share this and come back. Okay, see you in a sec. Hello. <laughs> I almost lost it then. <laughs> Still sharing, but I will be with you in a second. Okay, so <laughs> yes, I just received an email and it kind of made me think a little bit. Just received an email from someone and I've been in this world for a little bit so this is what this is why this occurred to me okay um, I received an email from someone telling me oh you know what I, I want to get started in my own business I really want to be in business and oh it's um, I want to be in real estate and some shares or stocks and shares and things now having been in the whole financial freedom world <laughs> for a very fairly long time um, I know and in fact, it's where I started as well, okay? When I finally, finally got my act together to get started in business, um, I went and found myself a mentor and everything in the real estate world. Um, and actually, that's how I managed to leave pharmacy altogether. But it's, it's one of those places that people go to, and it was me as well, you know? I, I went there because, one, they were selling it to me at um, no money down. <laughs> no money down! This girl did not have no money! So... <laughs> No money down, sounded pretty dang amazing, okay? So I was like, oh yeah, okay, well I have no money, so you just tell me what strategy will get. I can start with no money down, and I am in, I am in, okay? And you know, um, I did more than what most people do anyway, because lots of people kind of get into this world, and they kind of expect the magic bullet, that, that is the expectation, that they're going to have this magic bullet, where everything is just suddenly going to work and they're going to be rich in like three seconds flat foot with no money down. They're not going to invest anything. They're not going to invest any time. They're not going to get anything and they're just somehow going to be rich. <laughs> there is that There is that mentality around that world. There is that mentality definitely around that world. And I came with that mentality. I won't lie because I'd just been bankrupt. I'd just come out of depression. I just knew that I didn't want to return to work working 60, 80 hours when I had three awesome princesses at home. There was no way I wanted to be doing that. I didn't want to be a pharmacist any longer. I, I'd always known I didn't want to be a pharmacist for the rest of my life. And this, as I hit rock bottom, it seemed like a great time <laughs> to try something different. You know, I had nothing, when you have nothing to lose, you are, you have nothing to lose. So, <laughs> so in the end, I did lose. For, well, I know I didn't lose at all. I invested like 10,000 10, pounds, which I didn't have. There was a heck of a lot of debt involved in this. <laughs> Um, and then got myself um, trained up so that I would actually make this thing work. And I did. I committed. I was very committed. Most of the people that actually paid this money were not committed. And so they dropped out of the race. Um, but this is the thing. So I got this email and it's from somebody. And whenever anybody tells me, you know what? I want to be in real estate. And I want to be in stocks and shares. I, I, it's, it's, for me, it's a bit of a red flag. Okay. For me, it's a bit of a red flag. Already, I know that this is potentially, potentially, not everybody, not going to lie, not everybody. So I'm trying not to generalize, but potentially this is someone who is looking for a magic bullet, who thinks that if they do this real estate, you know, they can make lots of money in three seconds flat without really, without really investing too much of themselves in the mix, <laughs> ultimately. Now, the truth of the matter is, I'm, the, in theory, there's, yeah, you can do some no money down deals, but the amount of effort yeah, you will put in to create those deals, OMG. <laughs> it is beyond what most people are willing to do, truth be told. It's easier to be in a job, is the truth of the matter. <laughs> For most people, that is the truth. And some people will listen to me and say, I'm being negative. No, I'm not. I'm being, well, I hate the word realistic. I'm not being realistic. I, I think if it is the thing that you are born to do and or it is the thing that you are committed to doing, then it doesn't matter how much hard work is involved. After all, you're working pretty dang hard, building a life you don't like right now. So, <laughs> so why the heck not invest your energy in building one that you do, even if it is hard work to begin with until you kind of make that transition. And when you're just coming from being an, em an employee and you're, you know, it's, it's hard, okay? It's hard to get into business and realize that you're suddenly responsible for a heck of a lot of stuff. Say hi, say hi, tell me, say hi, say hi, say hi. Okay, say hello, tell me where you're streaming in from, I want to know. But anyway, I got this email from someone and uh, the first thing in my mind is, oh, it's a robot. It's a robot. 
A robot who is bought into the nonsense, who's bought into the whatever, who's forgotten who they are born to be. It's forgot, it doesn't, actually, it probably has bought into the, 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 mass, the mass rhetoric, is it, or the mass theory that it is impossible for you to create wealth doing the thing that you're actually here to do. And so they've switched themselves off to think, okay, what's the quickest way I can make some money? I know, I'll try some real estate, you know, buy a house, you know, do it up. Three seconds, make about 100K, you know, that kind of a thing. Because that's, that's how it's sold in some ways, you know, you make money just like that, or you buy, well, actually buy to rent is, is it's an interesting way to make money, but it's, it's, it's one of the slower ways in terms of real estate, for sure. But if you, if you uh, unless you're doing things like HMO or <laughs> whatever, actually, I'm not supposed to be talking about property here, but I could, I could give you some strategies. <laughs> but that's not my thing. Because I did that, okay? I did that. I wanted a quick way out of my job. I wanted whatever I wanted. Anybody that told me anything, I tried stocks and shares for about three seconds, realized, ah, I'm not sure I can make this work. So I went off and looked at property instead. And, and I decided, oh, well, let's go and learn from somebody. Paid him a lot of money, learned a lot, made a lot of money back got myself out of pharmacy altogether. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All the story is way, hey, except it was just not the thing that I was supposed to be doing in my life. Um, thankfully, it took a coach to say to me, Rosemary, you're just kind of taking a, a sideways step. You went from one thing you don't like to a business you don't like. <laughs> Basically, all because of money. All because of money. All because of money. And it was, it was all because of money. I just wanted money. I wanted, and I, I just wanted money for whatever reason. It's okay to do stuff you don't like for money. <laughs> it is quite normal. <laughs> in fact, it's a, in the regular world, that is what, you, what is done. That is, that is the normal way of living, that you just ultimately find the fastest way you can make some money and, and get on with it. But the truth of the matter is the people that are super successful, they find a way to actually enjoy the work that they do. They find a way to enjoy the work that they do. So people looking on the outside, looking in, will say, hey, you're a workaholic, you la la la, but they don't get it. They don't get it. They think it's just about the money, but actually the people complaining are usually the ones that are just about the money, but they don't see that because it's the normal way. That's the normal way. The normal way is to do what you don't really like, to get a little bit of money, and then, oh yeah, I'll go and live my life now. Okay. So when I say, when did you go with robot? That's what I was thinking about this person. So I actually sent an email back saying, why have you chosen to do real estate? Why have you chosen to do stocks and shares? Because I, I don't really ever want to work with someone who is literally hoping to make some money fast. I also had somebody else send me a private message on Facebook as well. Um, and that was the same thing. Oh, you know, I think I think I think I found a model that is so much easier than what I was doing. Um, so I think maybe that's what I want to do. And it's like, are you kidding me? That's not a reason to choose a business, not to me. Okay. There are many coaches, many people who are happy to support you, but me, I would be bored by you. <laughs> Truth be told, I would be bored by anybody who is literally the only reason that they do what they do is to make, I'm, I'm not saying you should make money. I think you should make as much money as you like. I think you should, I think most people's, um, money goals are far too small. Truth be told. <laughs> If I'm honest, and, and I think that people should make as much money as they like, but I think you should make as much money as you like whilst making a difference in the way that you were born to make, okay? And so most people have gone robot. Most people have gone robot. Now, if you've been in my world for any length of time, you know that I say to people, um, you know, sometimes you have to go robot when it comes to doing the work. Absolutely, you do. There are times when really you just need to do the work because if not, you'll never do the work because you'll be waiting for the feeling of inspiration and that doesn't work either. But there is, there is robot that is good and there is robot that is bad, that is lifeless, that is almost like you may as well not be alive. And a lot of people choose this. They choose this form of it. This email, anyway, just made me a bit sad. It made me a bit sad. For one, anyway, put me off this person, unfortunately. I, I've asked them the question. They may come back with some really deep reason why they must absolutely do this because, you know, for them, it's like heartfelt, in which case, great, that's a different thing altogether. But that's why I asked the question. But for most people, when they come out with, oh, I'm going to do real estate, I'm going to do property, or I'm going to do stocks and shares, they're really ultimately looking for a fast way or they're looking for an online business so that they can make money in a flash. <laughs> Basically, and I wish it was that simple. But usually there's a transition point and usually most people quit. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, that's unfortunately the truth because it takes a heck of a lot of resilience to actually get to the point where you are making um, a great amount of money. <laughs> really, for some people, actually, even a small amount of money takes a heck, a heck of resilience because you're coming from a place where everybody just told you what to do, when to do it, how to do it, how to think, how not to think, and all that. And suddenly you get into business where you are the one that has to make all the decisions and it's hard. It's hard to make that transition, okay? You don't realize how hard it is until you start. It's not impossible, though. It's not impossible, though. I personally think that everybody is here for a reason, that everybody has a purpose, and we cannot die before we've lived. We cannot die before we've lived because of trying to find some kind of shortcut to another life that you don't much like. <sighs> Prosperity with purpose. That is what I think we're all here for. Okay, I think, yes, make a heck of a lot of money. But honey, make a heck of a lot of difference in the way that you are born to make. And come alive, come alive. And in fact, my affirmation for today was or is, <laughs> let's see if I remember it. I am alive, 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 and I can't remember what the last line is because I kept thinking which one should I choose, I started with I will not die before I even live. <laughs> that was where it started and then finally ended up with, I'll shine my light for all the world to see. So we can end with that one. That's a bit more positive than dying before you're even alive. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> so that is it. Okay, let's try that again. I am alive. to see. I am a firm believer. One, you know I'm all about Project 334K, but I am a firm believer that every single person has a particular kind of light to shine on this planet. And when they go looking for easy, quick shortcuts and all that kind of stuff, then they just give up on their own life. And I just find the whole thing very painful to watch. And, and the truth is that most people don't even make it because it's not something they want to do. And so therefore they're trying to do robots, but they can't do robot because most people don't have the resilience to do it. So, <laughs> so it's like, why would you choose? to go after something that doesn't make you come alive. Haven't you already spent most of your life doing that? Why would you then try and start a business doing exactly the same thing, hoping that it will give you a quick shot of cash? Hey, Shane, how you doing? Glad to see you as well, honey bunch. <laughs> Why would you do that? I don't get it. I don't, well, actually, no, it's not true. I did it too. I did it too. I did it too. I did it too. I went for what I thought was a surefire path to cash in three seconds flat. And you know what? It took me 18 months to get myself to the place where I was out of pharmacy because I just, oh my gosh, dogged, dog, pig-headed determination. Okay? Pig-headed determination. Me and push chair and three children and leaflets and craziness happening. Basically, that was me for 18 months to get myself to the place where I was able to leave my job altogether. So yes, you can do that. But then you know what? I had to start all over again because it was like, why have I just gone and built another life that I didn't like? Why have I done that to myself? The same amount of energy would have built me a life that I did absolutely adore. So why did I buy into the stupid rhetoric that I had to be a robot? That I had to die to my vision? I had to die to who I am when I could have a life of freedom being who I am born to be. Why? It was just stupidity on my part, <laughs> is the answer to that question. But I know right now that I don't really work with anyone. In fact, I never, I used to, I used to, I used to, because again, at the beginning of being a coach, I thought the only way to be a coach was to accept clients I didn't like and to do things I didn't want to do and put myself forward in a really horrible way. But I learned. I became courageous in doing the things that I'm born to do. 
I finally made a decision. You know what? I would rather die than live a life based on anybody else's terms for me. No. I've given enough of my life to that. Enough of my life to living to everybody else's agenda. I am alive. And I am alive on this planet at this time for a specific reason and I am going to die before I allow some crazy idea that I have to live like everybody else. Or I have to live to the rules. What rules? So somebody like me made the rules. So why can't I make my own? I will listen to spirit within me and I will act accordingly based on that intuitive thing inside of me. Trust in that, it will, that the thing that I dream of creating is absolutely possible. That my vision is my permission and the work always works. So frankly, as long as I'm committed to doing what it takes, then I can have whatever I want. Basically, I can create a life doing whatever I want. And you know what? I'm doing that right now. There's a question I was just reading in a book, actually. And the question went, if you had all the time and all the money in the world, what would you do? And... Thankfully, for a long time now, I've been able to say exactly what I'm doing right now. <laughs> exactly what I'm doing right now. The only difference would maybe be I'd travel a lot more, but that gets a little complicated with children. Or is that an excuse? It might be an excuse that I'm making, except one of my children is a cheerleader. And she has all these competitions, which comes with a lack of flexibility because she has to be in places at certain times. <laughs> and that is a bit of a sacrifice. <laughs> if I do say so myself. <laughs> but that would be this, this life, the singing, speaking, reading, writing, inviting people to work with me or inviting people to elevate their own life. That would be what I'd be doing. With all the time and all the money in the world, this is my life. It's taken a journey to get here, but I, this, is, this could be your life as well. I'm not saying it's easy, okay? I've shed a lot of tears. I've, oh my God, I can't, yeah. You know, it's like, it's like the woman giving birth, trying to tell the woman who hasn't. Telling you, <laughs> telling you how, how it goes. You, you can't really contemplate it unless you're already on the journey yourself, in which case, <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thank you for being such a stellar example of success in a businesswoman who transitioned out of the rat race. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed, honey. But I'm, I know you know, Shay, <laughs> the resiliency coach. <laughs> I know you know that, that it takes a heck of a lot. But at the same time, it takes a heck of a lot to stay bored with your current existence. <laughs> Basically, it means that you're going to be a robot. And I say, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. There is, a, there is something that you are here to do. And there's a part of you that senses it inside of you. You know what, I, I, I don't want to just talk about the work that you're here to do. I want to talk about your life generally. Wake up to the fact that you can design your life however you want it. You can design all of your life however you want it. Why? Why would you settle for less? Oh, I know why. Because it seems easier. But is it? Is it easier to stay in chronic pain where the pain never ends? Or would it be easier... To, to deliberately design your life the way you want it and go through an acute pain period because, you know, you're making that transition. But then come out the other side where suddenly pain or the, the pain of it feels fun. I know it's crazy. You become a glutton for punishment, I think. <laughs> when you compare yourself to other people, maybe. Maybe, I don't know. For me, I don't even think about it that way. out there I would rather be doing the work that I do than just meandering, doing nothing. I would rather be writing and speaking and reading and thinking and inviting people into my world. I would rather be coaching people to elevate their lives. I would rather be doing that. In fact, it takes a lot to tear me away from the work that I'm doing because I love the work that I do. I don't wake up and think, oh my God, I have to do that again. No, that used to be me at pharmacy, that's for sure. <laughs> Oh no, I have to go to that pharmacy. <laughs> that was me. But it's not me any longer. I probably work harder, truth be. If I look at my hours and such, maybe I work harder. But I don't know. I get to see my children all the time. I get to do all the stuff that I wouldn't have been able to do if I was at work. And 
So you know what? The truth of the matter is I love my life now, so I can't even compare it to my life pre all of this. It's like, who was that person? And why did she believe that she had to live that way? Why was I a robot for so long? Why was I a robot for so long? I bought into the nonsense. Are you buying into the nonsense? Are you not even giving your vision a chance? Your whole life, your relationships, your health, your wealth, your work, your rest, your relaxation, all of that stuff could be deliberately designed in a way that makes you feel amazing and alive, which reminds me we best sing this again. I am alive. 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 I'll shine my light for all the world to see. And that last line, you know, I'll shine my life for all the world to see. That is something that makes people uncomfortable for whatever reason as well. It's like, I'm not sure I want the whole world to see me. And it's like, you know what? You don't have to try very hard. I step back into the rat race a couple of months to stack cash. I get that. So I have time to build my biz better this time. At least that's what I tell myself. But you just smack me with your words. Thank you. You're awesome. It's absolutely fine, Shay. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. But you know it's temporary, though. That's the thing. You know it's temporary. So yeah, I want to smack you with my words, but I don't want anybody to think that, you know what, I didn't just drop my job. <laughs> Basically, I made a transition, okay? In fact, it wasn't until my coach said to me, oh, you have, you, you know, you could, you could just quit the job. I didn't even notice. <laughs> Basically, because I was quite holding on to it. Exactly, it's very temporary. So sometimes you have to do temporary stuff, but the vision is to build a business that sustains you that not just sustains you though because if we're going beyond the money we're going to well it must sustain us if we're going to live a life based on our passions and purpose and vision and all that stuff but that we but it also means something to us okay it's a business that it's like it's it's part of the vision we have for our life that is incredibly important but of course it needs to be sustainable because if not how are you going to eat <laughs> So very much about people being financially independent. And I know that, yeah, you know, you, you find the money to keep you going until you, your business is doing that for you. So I, I made that transition. I would never have just dropped everything and just run. <laughs> so I get it, Shay. So no, no guilt, no shame, no nothing. It was temporary. And yeah, you know what? Temporarily, we do whatever we need to do to get us where we want to go. The problem, I think, when I say robot here... It's for people that don't have a temporary plan. It is their whole plan. That was my life. It was a permanent plan. I was going to be a pharmacist for the rest of my life, doing what I like to do in the crevices of the weekends and, and evenings. That was going to be my life until, yes, I had a bit of a wake up call. <laughs> wake up, man. It doesn't have to be that way. Oh, really? Okay, let's look for a different way. But I had to put myself under the tutelage or under the mentoring of a lot of people to get to the place where I truly started to believe that it's possible for me. Because that is a problem for a lot of people is that lack of belief that they can make it happen and nobody around you is doing it. So therefore, you think it's impossible. And if you think it's impossible, it will always be impossible for you. <laughs> so suddenly what was temporary becomes permanent. But in Shay's case, I know, honey, you are the resiliency coach. You are not going anywhere. Not on a permanent basis. <laughs> <laughs> basically so yeah but anyway guys please don't go robot and if you have gone robot you you know you have because well okay there are some robots that actually don't care and I, it's like i went to a, a business conference and usually I, I, I go to these business conferences and i always feel a kind of out of place because i have such big ideas and most people just want to just about get by and for me, it's just like, why would you just want to just about get by? Isn't it easier then to just be in a job if you're going to just get by? I want to be live in abundance in all areas of my life. And so I always feel out of place 
in places where they're regular business owners. So yeah, they may have made the transition to being a business owner, but they're like this person asking me about real estate or stocks and shares. Well, they're like some people asking me about that. I do not know about this particular person, but <laughs> they're like some people asking me that because ultimately all they want to do is make a little bit of money and, and that's it. Oh, I don't care about passion or purpose and any of that stuff. And you can't, except they do kind of, but they're too ashamed to even talk about it. And so I get all like, I shouldn't talk about that kind of stuff here although I was giving a talk so <laughs> I just did me I just did me okay but it's like uh, I'm not a regular person you are not a regular person if you're listening to me and if you like the kind of things that I say and do you're not a regular person so don't even try to fit into the regular world the problem is that we did try for a very long time to fit into the regular world to be like everybody else to be satisfied with less but like I said in my post this morning is this your best is this your best? Because that is a question that haunts me all the time. Is this my best? Is this really the best I can offer the world? Is this the best? Because if it is, then fine. But if it's not, then how the heck dare I give up my responsibility to be the light that I am born to be? How dare I? And when I tried, it was just this depression around me all the time. But you learn to live with it. You learn to just think that is normal. But that's the robot taking you over, honey. And I say, come alive. Come alive! <laughs> come alive. Start listening to spirit again within you. Start listening to that intuition inside of you saying, honey, this is not your best. You could be more. You could do more. You could have more. You could be whatever you really envisioned yourself to be it's your choice man it's your choice so is this your best or are you giving in to the robot are you giving in to the robot and trying to tell yourself well you know everybody else seems to be happy enough so maybe i can be happy too everybody else isn't happy or maybe they're kind of they, they, who's the i remember a coach of mine used to say that everybody's learned to live at just below happy and that's become the new happy <laughs> the new happy is just below happy and everybody's just kind of learned to live at this level of not that happy, but everybody is this way, so it must be fine. No, it's not fine. You could live a more fulfilling existence. You could be alive. You could be alive. Why would you settle for dead? Why would you settle for lifeless? Why would you settle for robot? Come alive, come alive in your relationships. Come alive in your money. Come alive in your health. Actually, your health is generally affected by whether you're alive in all the other areas of your life because you'll find that you start eating more and doing less where you feel, <laughs> Because the rest of your life is just like, whoa, you're just a bit of a robot. <laughs> except robots, except you're a live robot, so you, you need food. And so you start eating to cover up the fact that you feel disappointed with who you've become. Is this your best, honey? Is this your best? Let's sing that one last time. I am alive. I am alive. I am alive. I am alive. I shine my light for all the world to see okay i shine my life for all the world to see make a decision about your life man make a decision that you're going to come alive again that where there's been any kind of frozenness or deadness or robotness that you're just going to shed it that you're going to find the courage inside of you to live life <laughs> A friend of mine said something about, you know, putting the fire somewhere or something. And it was just like a really powerful statement of fire everywhere. And I'm like, yes! I didn't completely understand it, but it was, I liked it. <laughs> the whole idea of being the fire everywhere. Be that person, okay? Instead of just falling along with everybody that's kind of living at that low level of, ah, not quite happy, but not too sad. <laughs> Be that person who actually is alive change the world for your family change the world for your community change the generations coming beyond you you are here for more than just you though you know what do it for you first okay do it for you first i needed your message the robot was trying to whisper in my ear and dangle a six-figure car oh 
but I promise to shine my light and answer the call of my life. Oh, I love you too, my Shay. Love you too. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this is it, guys. If you have not heard about it, then I've not been doing my job well. So I will tell you right now. I've not been inviting you well, okay? And we already established that I quite like to invite people to work with me because I know that if you work with me for a while, your life will elevate, okay? So this is it. The Abundance Mastermind. The Abundance Mastermind. Hopefully you heard about it. Frankly, it's at the top of the page, so you should have seen it. <laughs> the Abundance Mastermind. It's an eight-week coaching, intimate mastermind, or we can work one-on-one, -on -one, whichever way, whichever one takes your fancy. It's called the Abundance Mastermind because it's about living a prosperous life that makes a difference, okay? I'm growing your self-love because if you don't love yourself, honey, you're not going to allow yourself to do the thing that you're here to do. You'll keep settling for less because you won't feel worthy of the hugeness of the call on your life, okay? And you won't even know that that's why you're doing it, but you will just keep getting it your own way and sabotaging yourself to grow your self-confidence, okay? Because again, if you don't feel all that confident, you're gonna be hiding your light. You're gonna be thinking, I don't want everybody looking at me. Of course you want people looking at you, why? Oh, you don't want people looking at you. You just want to be living your life <laughs> confidently, regardless of how you come across to anybody or regardless of what people think about you. So what? It's your life. Are they paying your bills? No. So you, it's your life. It's your life. It's like when people tell me you're not marrying my husband. It's like, what? Are you going to be in my house? Are you going to live my life? No. Okay. Then I am the one that gets to choose what my life is to be about, okay? And then what's the other thing? Yeah, to be intimately connected to source because I do think that lots of people are in the wilderness. There's, they're, yeah, you're all at your religious organization singing the songs, shouting the chants, affirming this and affirming that. But actually, when it comes to living the life, you're not living a life of faith or trust or any of that because you've learned from the regular rhetoric that it's impossible for you to live out the vision on your life. And so you've stopped hearing, you've stopped listening to your intuition, you've stopped listening to source, you're feeling a little bit dead on the inside and you want that connection. If you're anything like me, you've longed to be spiritual, to be connected in a way that feels deep and meaningful to you. That has been my story since about six or as long as I can remember, I've wanted that connection. And I went through ups and downs and religious crazy dogmas and na 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 to finally get in this intimate, crazy, amazing relationship, which, which assures me that I am loved and always cared for, okay? Which then, in, that then, then filters into everything else that I do. Because now I know that, you know what, if, if I'm loved and cared for, it doesn't really matter what anybody else thinks about me, basically. All that matters, and it's, it's taken me a journey. But that has made the hugest difference to me, okay? And I want to help you experience this because you are here for a reason. You have a purpose on your life. You are here to do amazing work, okay? Okay, stop belittling yourself. Stop playing small, telling yourself, oh, it doesn't really matter. Yes, it does matter. There was no mistake about you being born here at this time. So, honeys, this is it. Abundance Mastermind. It's an eight-week thing, you know? where we're going to be tapping into your deep wisdom. This isn't me talking at you all the time because, you know, as much as I'm awesome, I am very awesome. I know that. But it's, it's, it's about you connecting again to your wisdom. It's, yes, I will help you. I'll be like a channel-ish for you to help you and to create a space for you. Create space for you to tap into what you already know is true. So where you're feeling stuck, you're feeling unsure, you're feeling unclear, you're feeling stuck, you're feeling whatever you're feeling. Let me help you. It's the Abundance Mastermind. It's an eight-week program. We'll have six sessions together. You can work with me one-on-one -on -one, or you can be in a very small, tight-knit group. You can be as private as you like because ultimately we'll be on the phone. Nobody needs to know who you are, but you know what? Who knows these six people that you're with could be, including myself, could be <laughs> the, um, the makings of a really great relationship thing for you. Because right now you're surrounded by people who don't get you. You're surrounded by people who have settled. You want more, right? You want to be surrounded by people who want more. This will help me look into, you know, helping you to shed some of the nonsense from your past that is holding you back. It's like I was just saying to the people in The Deliberate Millionaire that, you know what? You can learn all the tips, the tricks, the strategies. I can teach you all of that. But you will not do it if we don't handle the stuff inside of here, inside of you, inside of you, inside of here, inside of your heart. If we don't handle that stuff, it doesn't matter how much you know, you won't do. <laughs> you won't do. That's the thing. And you'll think you are. You think you're working your ass off, but you won't be doing it. And this goes beyond just being an entrepreneur. 
This goes beyond any of that. It's ultimately what I want is you to live your purpose-driven life. And I recognize that for some people, that maybe it's not business right now, but for some of y'all, you just don't know where to start. I can help you with that. So guidance from me plus guidance from your intuition mixed together, it's an explosive mix, honey. It's an explosive mix that could literally change your life. And it will. That's the thing. That is my commitment to you. It's like I made that commitment to people in the Purpose Driven Profits program. And yes, people that have followed me along with that program are making money. You, this could be your turn, okay? It's not necessarily just about money. It's about you uncovering what you're here to do, shifting away from anything that is holding you back. This is literally for anyone. I don't care whether you're an entrepreneur or not an entrepreneur. It is for people who want to elevate, okay? You must be spiritually minded because it's going to be a very spiritual program in that we are tapping into your intuition and all of that. I'm not even going to be afraid of telling you what I feel is being said to you, okay? It's like personal prophecy, personal guidance, all of that stuff. We will be doing all of that, you know, I want you to move forward and I know that me alone or you alone, we can't do it. But when we start to co-create with the divine, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, whoa, magic happens <laughs> and I want magic for you. So the Abundance Mastermind, the link is there, it's rosemaynonynight.com forward slash abundance. You have about 48 hours to join in before I shut the doors and we start. Okay, so the idea is that we will figure out six sessions. I don't care where you are on the planet. We'll figure out six times over the next eight weeks where we can all meet always. So we're going to book in the times from the get-go so everybody knows where they're, where they're supposed to be. So there's no, oh, well, what are my time zone or my time zone? We'll find times for everyone. Okay, so that for six sessions, everybody can be there. You'll book it into your diary. On Saturday, we're going to be, you know, on the phone clarifying it all. Make sure everyone can be there for the six sessions. This is not to be missed. This is not to be missed. Oh my gosh, this is exciting, exciting. I'm so excited for this. It really, because it started off as, oh, I was just going to do a program. But then it was like, no, no, no. I felt, you know, Papa saying, no, Rosemary, it's not just a program. This is literally you working closely with a few people, really bringing that power into it. Oh my gosh, you need to be part of this, honey. I'm so excited about it, actually. And I'm so excited about the six people I'm going to be working with. I just know it is made for you. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's gonna, it is the exact thing that you need and you'll know. Now, whether you choose to step up is a different thing altogether, okay? You can make all kinds of excuses and tell yourself all of that. It's like, well, it's, it's up to you. It is your life. Nobody can make you, even spirit won't make you. <laughs> but if you wanna be alive and you know you're, you're done, you're done with feeling kind of stuck in place, you're done with feeling as though there is more to me than this, and yet I can't seem to make it happen. I've tried things and nothing is happening. You've bought this program and that program. That was me for a while. <sighs> if you are ready to transition into someone who actually makes stuff happen, then the Abundance Mastermind is exactly what you need. You need to pop over right now to rosemaynonynight.com forward slash abundance and join in. Don't second guess or wonder or any of that stuff. Yeah, if you have questions, of course, ask any questions that you have, but ultimately move. <laughs> move your butt. <laughs> move your butt. We have 48 hours. It's, the doors are shut in Thursday midnight Eastern. That's when the doors shut all together. And then we'll, because I need to make sure that we, I want to get your intake forms in. I really want to kind of start to <sighs> really, really have you guys on my heart so that when we come to do the work, you know, I know you so that I know you so that I'm coming from a place of, okay, Papa, what are you saying? What are you saying to this person? Because it, it cannot just be me. For you to have the transformation you need, it cannot just be me. Okay? Okay? Okay, so it's rosemaynonynight.com forward slash abundance. This is like, it's both, it's the most exciting thing I've ever done. Ever done. <laughs> I'm so excited by it, but it is something that I've been wanting to do forever, but I didn't think that I could. Except now, it's like, you know what? I know what got me results. How dare I hold it back from you guys? Okay, so move. You'll read the page, you'll know if you are one of the six, or if you need to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you have those two options. You just need to move. You need to act on that inside of you because you've been trying to be logical you've been trying to get it right you don't know what right is logical hasn't worked <laughs> it 
You need something more. RosemaryNonnyNight.com forward slash abundance. The link is right there. Go join in. Okay? Remember to come alive. Let's sing our affirmation and bring this to a close. I am alive. I am alive. I am alive. I am alive. I'm alive now. I am alive. I am alive. I'll shine my light for all the world to And to deliberately desire the life you're born to live because you absolutely want to. Until the next time, tag somebody in, share this around the place. You know there are people that need to hear this stuff. It's time for them to wake up. Much love, Shay, and everybody else. Woohoo! Much love, everyone. Until the next time, I best go pick up my daughter. She's finishing her cheerleading climb right about now. <laughs> Okay then, I love you, I love you, just sending love to you, sending love to you, sending love to you, sending love to you, okay? <sighs> Any frozen parts of your heart, may they now start to melt, okay? Much love, my honeys! Go forth and prosper, until the next time. <laughs>